Hey, my loves, how is everyone doing? Now, as many of you know, I have been busy getting a home in order before the holidays, and today I'm ready to share with you my pantry. Before you watch this video, I request you to watch or refresh your memory to what my previous pantry looked like, so you can fully see the changes I have made. Now, I ordered these containers online, and I'm actually very happy with my purchase. These are reasonably priced, and they come in many sizes, ranging from 3.3 litres to 0.2 litres. I have got 28 pieces in all at the moment. I'm not sure these are going to be sufficient, but I'm going to try my best not to have to buy any more. So taking a look at the jars, I like the fact that they're lightweight. I have to admit that recently I have been having a problem lifting the large mason jars when they are even three quarters full. And I know I'm reverting to acrylic jars, but these are more convenient for me, and these are also BPA-free. Now, the lids here come in black and white, but white goes better with my aesthetic. And if and when you're buying these, remember to look out for the color of the seal inside. While some come with a white seal, there are those which come with a gray seal. So just make sure that you check and get the one you want, and of course, get all the same for cohesiveness. Now, as I mentioned, I have 28 pieces and these come in four different sizes. You will see three sizes here and I will show you the fourth one shortly. So step one of getting the containers that you need is completed. Step two is to wash and dry the new ones that you intend to use. And step three is to start filling up the jars. I do suggest that you write down the contents of each jar as you go. So it is simpler when you start making the labels. Now, once everything is filled, you will realize exactly how easy it is to see exactly what you're running low on and what you need to use a little faster. Step four is to give your empty pantry a good wipe down. And step five is the best part, and that is replacing the jars in the pantry. Take your time, move them around until you have exactly the look that you're aiming for. Now, this is my pantry. And as you can see, I'm still using the same Elgot system from IKEA that I was using in my condo earlier. I've actually added more shelves to the rack to fit this room. But here, I have also added my mom's vertical freezer in the center, and I have actually built around that. If you want to see my freezer organization, then do let me know in the comments below. Now, this room has actually got no ventilation or windows not even a door. So in order to keep the room cool, I have added a fan which runs on a low and slow speed throughout the day. A hot room is not suitable for storing food stuff. Plus, as there is a freezer in here, there is emission of heat and I use the fan to reduce that. Besides food, I also keep some larger appliances in this room. These two cabinets here are actually not for food storage. I don't have a laundry room in this house. I only have a nook which is actually right behind me. So I store my laundry needs in here. And this one here is Zoe's closet. I will show more on this in a separate video. Now to me, there's a thought process on organizing the things in here. On the right of the freezer is just one single column of shelves. Following two important rules of organization. Number one, that frequently used items should be within easy reach and two, Heavier items should be placed on lower levels. So I have started by storing the rice buckets here. Very easy to access for anyone on rice duty. Above that is another grab and go shelf, which has all the water bottles and also lunch boxes. As my daughter takes a packed lunch to work at least three times a week. We also have Ziplocs in here for the boys if they want to take their breakfast or a sandwich along to work. Now above that are these two Plugis baskets from IKEA, 
which hold my food processor and my blenders. And on top is an instant pot, which I use, but not too frequently. Below that are two mesh drawers. These are practical and also allow for ventilation of onions and potatoes. And these basket drawers are also large enough to hold a whole sack of onions and potatoes each. I do buy in bulk when I want to prep curry pastes and such. And now on the left of the fridge is my first visual engagement of this room. And it's very important to create a pleasing aesthetic. My tip is to put the less appealing items in a position where they are not consistently in your line of vision and so as to not ruin the aesthetic. For me, those are my oils and sauces. In this corner, I have the oils and above that are the sauces. Again, I have used baskets to corral like items together. At the bottom are large bottles of soft drinks. We do have groups of mini adults who come over almost every weekend. So drinks and pizza are basically all that they want. Further down on the floor are all the refills in another storage box. So here next to the oils, I have two closed boxes. One has crackers of different types, ranging from papadums to koropo. And the other has pudding and dessert stuff like caramel pudding, jelly and custard powder. In these corners are two Lazy Susans. One has condiments like chili and tomato sauce, pancake syrup, honey and brown sugar syrup. And the other one holds my pastes and bouillon powders for cooking. Lazy Susans definitely work really well in corners to increase visibility and accessibility. I also have a basket here for unripe fruit. Once it ripens, we put it away in the refrigerator. As you can see, we have some pears, oranges and apples lying here for now. Now comes my favourite part. These jars that I showed you on Instagram. I have replaced the many types of jars that I used to have in the old house with a more complete set. I know while most people are aiming towards glass, I have done the reverse. But personally, it's working for me and I like plastic bins as well in the pantry because it is so easy to wipe off any spills. On these two shelves, I have all my sundries and flowers. The 3.1 litre ones are at the back and the 0.8 litre ones are in the front. I have labelled all the jars using a 12 point font on my label maker. Below that are all my pastas and the herbs that I use for pasta. These come with grinders and always add freshness to the dish. On this side are the lentils and pulses. These are all 1.7 litre jars and I have used a riser for ease. I'm using these IKEA risers which are actually used all over my kitchen to maximise storage. Down here, I have all my cans of food. Again, using a riser, I have organized all the cans neatly so as to not buy more than I have to and not forget what I already have. And the riser here holds the cutest jars ever. These are 0.25 litre jars I got from Ace. These are perfect for sundries and spices that I buy less of because I use in very small quantities like flaxseed, black sesame seeds, mustard and cumin seeds and that sort of thing. Above and below that, again we have things that are not needed daily. I have tetra seal packets of milk at the bottom because they are heavy. Right on the top I put appliances that I seldom use but at the same time I do need to keep. And next to that we have got some party stuff which as you can see contains the little things that we need when we have get-togethers, especially when my mini adults have their friends over. On this side, I have two more mesh drawers. This drawer is kind of Zoe's pantry. It's got all her snacks and dry food in here, in these Till Sluta, Til Sluta containers. Uh, I'm not really sure how that's pronounced, but these are from Ikea. And these are absolutely perfect for drawers because of the lids being clear. And below that is a drawer filled with different flavours of ramen and instant noodles. I do not object to the mini adults eating instant noodles as long as they add some protein and vegetables. Another thing that I want to share is this brilliant idea my daughter helped me come up with. I repurposed the pegboard that used to be in my craft room, sadly I don't have a craft room here yet, to hold some of the items. I have my parchment paper, cling film and aluminum foil on this side. I also have a tape dispenser in case I need to seal something, a stapler pretty much for the same purpose and a pen to write down any dates or instructions. Below that, in this even tinier jars, I have rubber bands and chip clips. 
And hanging here are two scoops in case I need to scoop something out and a pair of scissors to cut openings in packets. And that is my new pantry. Leave a single word comment in the comment section and tell me what you think of this pantry. So my loves, I hope you will give this video a thumbs up and do join me on Instagram for behind the scene pictures and also the group challenges on Facebook. Until the next video, this is Ravina saying happy homemaking.